Today's $600 COVID relief checks are on their way to millions of Americans, and the Senate is considering whether to greenlight more pandemic help. Skylar Henry has the latest from Capitol Hill. Is there objection to the modification? Object. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blocked an effort by the president and Democrats to raise COVID relief checks from $600 to $2,000. These Republicans in the Senate seem to have an endless tolerance for other people's sadness. A growing number of Republicans, including two senators in Georgia's runoff elections, say they will support the larger checks, but most GOP senators oppose them. The Senate will be back in session this afternoon. Last night, Senator McConnell filed new legislation tying larger checks to restrictions President Trump wants on tech companies and the creation of a commission to review election results. President Trump is still at his Florida resort, but has Georgia on his mind. Monday, he'll travel to Georgia and rally for the two Republican senators fighting to keep their seats and the Senate under Republican control. President-elect Biden will also be in Georgia Monday ahead of the January 5th runoffs. The president-elect blames the Trump administration for the slow pace of vaccinating Americans. So far, just over 2 million doses administered as opposed to the 20 million forecast by the Trump administration. If he continues to move as it is now, it's going to take years, not months, to vaccinate the American people. Yesterday, Biden promised 100 million vaccinations in the first 100 days of his term. On Twitter, President Trump has repeatedly blamed states for the slow distribution. The federal government vaccine distribution agency, Operation Warp Speed, pointed to other factors. It's been just 12 days. There's two holidays. There's been three major snowstorms. Operation Warp Speed says approximately 14 million doses have been delivered to states. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.